I haven't done a NASA video in a long while, I don't think, or a new one, because once I found that astronaut that was stationary outside, well, I probably did that in 2017, you know, you do your own research. And then I came across this video because I'm wearing my NASA Lie t-shirt today. And um, what it is, is this is the first video I picked. It was very near the top. And I don't want to say too much because you know what YouTube are like. But hopefully you can see all the things that I see. And hopefully you can see that I've pointed them out. But anyway, let's watch Mission Impossible with the astronauts.
knows anything about basketball. Hello everybody, me and Mickey thought we'd dabble a little bit into the Black Knight satellite. Um, first of all, you can't find why it is called the Black Knight. It just has the name Black Knight. No one knows where it came. So anyway, I put this little video on. So that's a bit strange. And I've got this bit of video that Nicholas Tesla her found the frequency no one wanted to believe him but she does say this person shows a picture and it's way up there like it's coming from outer space when really so he shows some of there you go look you can see the earth and some of them the picture of that thing is on top of the clouds so it can't be from that way up but i suppose to nicholas tesla like, top of the clouds would have felt way up because they yeah he, he must that. have known the clouds were yeah, see he look knew, he knew that's he not far above the clouds still in the blue just about it's just in the blue so um <laughs> well, yeah. might be not that sad. far up then is it when he got the signal <sighs> and the other thing is they said there was two of them yeah, which we can't find. So, but we can't find but anything about the second one. Someone but it's mentioned it in a video. Real. Yeah, we, we'll put that fake. little bit of video yeah, on. Just, you know, I think that's different. What's everybody's thoughts? We thought maybe that's thousands, hundreds of years old. Uh, ha, go on, Mickey. Tell them what you think. You think that older people sent it up there and couldn't bring it back? So carry on. Well, on. it's in the fact where where they used it the ether, the Earth's energy. To a degree where okay we're flying around in high air balloons, but when you're in high air balloons, you're rich, you're down to eat, you know, rice. See there, you go, that's, that's on top of the clouds. They're looking mm. down at it on top mm. of the clouds, yeah. so it can't be very far away. Yeah. Carry on. So satellites would be, but uh, it's to where you know they're gonna if they've mastered their ether, they're, they're gonna make something that's gonna go through those layers, you know, because you have certain layers of the ether that also have cer certain powers, you know, give out certain energy. So the way this is, it's like it's all smoothed out. It's even got like a copy on top, like a round, half-shaped ball, like you know. Which to me is like a, is like a you know like a radar antenna to bring it all in from 360 degrees. You can wonder whether they're connected to the pyramids or what? You know. No, it's just a wild throw out for myself. Dig myself a rabbit hole. But um, but even the pyramids are not as old as they say. There you go. Let's stop it this bit for a minute. There. Oh, let's go back. That was the second. Yeah, the little bit. You know, Just, 20 odd years ago I've seen this and I'd never heard of the second There you one. go. The Major Donald, which is his picture of, he claimed there was at least mm. one and possibly two Impressive. artificial satellites circling the Earth, circling the Earth at <laughs> the present time. They're stuck. They don't circle, do they? They just stay there. Mm. But yeah, well, um, yeah. I suppose that's circling, that's what they call it. But Well, two in their them, world, yeah, they're circling. Yeah. But we couldn't find two of them, could we? No, I think that's... It, it, because for 20 odd years I've never heard of it. Yeah. No, but we might have found it on, you know, if we went to um, yeah, this one someone here, said this, it's not, Microsoft, yeah. or went to a different, because this is products. Google, don't forget, we're using here. You're not there, like. Mm. They've already got one narrative. Lie. No. It's all a lie anyway, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it says two there, but we couldn't find two, could we, Mickey? Nah, not, nothing at all. And you'd expect to see if they say it. Yeah, nobody else is talking about two. Never, but that's interesting if that heard. article is real and so forth. Mm. But it was just a bit interesting. So you mm. think they got it up there and they couldn't bring it down? Yeah, because, you know. It's only above the clouds, then, Mickey. You know, you know, once you're up, they really. How does it they stay can't. up there just above the clouds? That's where planes well, it's fly. It's like a balloon, in, letting a balloon off in your, in your bedroom and it goes to the ceiling. It's exactly the same thing. But it's only and just above the clouds. The planes <coughs> probably for pass me, it. that poor man in that. In that thing, it's dead because he couldn't get back down. So he stayed there, like a lost, lost that's the snort. <laughs> well, know. you don't know what's in there. But well, that ain't no fucking UFO. No, and, 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 and you know they have had some that's rocket things, and these there. rocket things do blow up, and that could be a part of the rocket, one of the rockets. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. I've we know they no don't go into. But how does it stay like just above the clouds? Because there's no, there's atmosphere there yeah, because the planes fly there. I mean, we know that they're lying about how high up the clouds are. The planes are lower than that. We'll just put it on again, right. Mickey, because we're talking again. I had two this minutes and a half this minutes. This is where NASA say, right. oh, "This is as far as we can go." <laughs> you know. I mean, when they say that 
36,000 feet is seven miles up. They're lying. It's probably about three or four miles or even less than that because they're not flying as high as they say they are. But, um... I'd love to go in one of them balloons. Yeah, sorry, the video didn't get going, but, um... Yeah. Famous scientist Nikola Tesla built a giant tower in his laboratory in Colorado Springs. This tower was supposed to allow him to study atmospheric electricity and wireless energy. Everything went fine until one day he discovered something unexpected. The tower began to catch a signal that seemed to be artificial. At first Tesla thought that the signal was coming from somewhere in the atmosphere. But it turned out that it had been coming from an even greater height, from outer space. Space. Tesla decided that this signal was sent by some extraterrestrial life. However, the scientific community ignored his theory. So it's not as high as you think it is. I mean, they do put it at different positions, like this one's a bit further up than the other one. The other one's on top of the clouds. So somebody's lying because they're doctoring all the pictures. Well, it, Someone wants us to think it's much it's closer to Earth, and someone funny. wants you to make it think it's an outer space. It's a bit of a weird shape, I don't even know what it is. There was one picture, I'll tell you when it comes up, that I thought, oh, it looks like some weird thing. I don't know if this little picture there is, um, this one is, is part of it, but it's there. Um, sometimes it looks very like an alien's going to come out and kill us. Sometimes like there it looks a bit more like a helicopter. This one here it looks more like it's got wings. So it's a bit hard to work out what it is because yeah, do you know you know when they've got the Sophia in the plane? There you go. Look there it looks like it's got wings on it. Look. <laughs> I mean that look could have been that could have been a plane, an army plane. But they're saying that that's the Black Knight. But what it is is you know they say they've got Sophia, which is a telescope in an aeroplane, and they can take pictures of the stars. Why don't we see clearer pictures of it through that thing? Because well, I don't yeah, think that's... Oh <laughs> my god! Oh my god! I know what it is! <laughs> hang on a second, hang on a second, we're going to stop this. I might have had a little riddle solved for me. Me and my daughter had gone on holiday, we were coming back in the aeroplane and we saw that thing out the window. Now I've zoomed in and zoomed in. But we could see it you know you know when you do that on cameras everything looks further away than it really is so we could see it and i said to ellie it's not moving it's just staying there and um i, I think i must have been taking that obviously look we've gone past it now we could see it in front of us and then it went we must have been watching it for nearly i don't know how long it was 20 minutes an hour whatever it was we watched it for a period of time as we were coming into england and then what it was is we started to land so we lost it but they show it just above the clouds the black night there it is there it is i filmed it again i keep cat i kept over those years capturing those things whatever it is there it is because it was so dark that if i zoom in you can't see and what it is it'll just go blurry but that thing did not move at all I am so pleased that riddle's been solved for me because it really, I just couldn't understand what this thing was. But it was only today, make me one Mickey, it was only today when we were looking at those pictures of it above the clouds, I suddenly remembered that I had this picture that I took when I was coming back off holiday. There it is. There <laughs> is the Black Knight. That was over England. I just couldn't believe it, see? And then they pretend they're in space looking down at it. They are, they are sad people. But what really is that? Because it just stuck there. I, I really wish I had a P900 at that point, because then I could have really zoomed in and taken a picture of it and I'd have said, oh my God, look at it. Ellie, look through the roof. Because I, 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 it's black, it's dark, just like that. But do you see, it's in our daylight. Look, there's a chemtrail going over the top. Wow, look at that, it's a chemtrail. <laughs> mm, there it is, so it's, it's, it's below, it's not that high up, just above the clouds. We know how low the clouds are. Mm. So what the hell is it? 
Wow, I'm so pleased for me. The riddle is solved. That's what that is. I didn't realize that we were looking at the Black Knight. I never even thought about it. There it is. That's what I saw out of the window and it never moved. It was stationary. So that's why they, you know, because they can't ever tell us the truth about things, can they? And they can't explain why that thing doesn't move. It just stays there. It does not move. So that thing's over England. That thing's somewhere. Oh, I don't know. It's not maybe over London. It's a, it's not quite over London, but maybe it is because we were still in. No, we were coming down to Gatwick. So that's somewhere between Brighton and Gatwick, up there. Wow. So, what's everybody's thoughts to this then? Oh, my my riddle's been solved. I'm really pleased about that. <clears throat> See, that picture shows it's in outer space, but it isn't. It's just above the clouds. And most people don't realise the clou are, clouds are only so many metres up. They're not miles up. Like, quarter, half a mile up above your heads. And that thing's just above it. Yeah, oh, that was the bit, yeah, saying that there was two of them, but we couldn't find anything about it. So what do you think? Do you think it looks like a space or a ship or a, or a, or a oh. it looks like a helicopter there? Yeah, it looks like a plane there. Why don't they show it to us as a plane? Why can't we have proper pictures of it? Mm. Oh, what did you say that was, Mickey? <laughs> oh, that's the uh, the uh, Freemasons, Lynn Martin. He says it's as above as, as, as below. So, yeah, it's as so, below. so below. As above, so below. So, that's so why is that on there? But well, how, the, like, you know, because it's natural, isn't it? Yeah. That's the probably thing that, maybe that's the thing that stops it's us seeing the world. Control. Maybe that's put a whole thing over the world so we can't really see what it really is. You know, like, I was watching a video of these kids. They were on, it was on, like, um, talent one, you know. Enjoy. Britain's not, wasn't Britain's Got Talent. It was the American one. Enjoy. And he just pulled this thing up and he went, they couldn't see him. And they put it down and then the little boy appeared again. If they can do that on the stage, well, if that's real. <laughs> With <laughs> conjuring tricks. What's his name? What's his name? The one that runs it. Simon, Simon Cowell. Yeah. If they could do that, then oh, I don't know. It's a bit strange. You know, let's carry on. Well, the, you know what I'm thinking is that NASA caught it in their satellites or you know when they're up there. And uh, well, it's over England, Mick. It was over England yeah, that day. Yeah. We were coming into land at Gatwick in a moment on the that picture. I think we started to do his scent. So I thought, oh, better take a picture of it. Mm. Click, click but only one of my pictures came through. So look, there is in outer space, it's pathetic. Oh look, spying on us for 13,000 years. Mm -hmm. It's probably some military thing but above yeah, us. again, it's, it's pushing in for the UFO. We're keeping them all imprisoned. They're inside the box. Yeah, anyway, what's everybody else's thoughts to that? But I am so chuffed that now I took the picture of it and didn't even realize. And it's really strange because you know I did the orb one. I thought that was a craft and it was an orb. Mm. See, we don't even know we, if you, you, it's probably in it, lots of people's footage and they don't even realize they've got this stuff in there. But anyway, we're gonna finish now, but I'm chuffed that I've worked out what that picture is. It's probably about 10, 15 years old, that picture. Mm. Wow, anyway, it's just above the clouds and it was over England and it's stationary. So it's still up there over England. Pretending it's in outer space, just above the clouds, and the clouds aren't very far away. Oh my god, I just don't know how it stays there though. Maybe how, Tesla's in it. How do you think you see the, the uh, satellite space set there? It's on a tether, it's up there on a big string. <laughs> yeah, with a balloon above it. <laughs> well, you saw that chemtrail, they're flying around it. So, yeah, it's just stuck in the atmosphere. But the planes don't get stuck though. And the, um, Mickey, the did you see us stuck there? We went past it. We went past the thing, so how come it's stuck there? How does it do it? Let's I, just go back to my... Well, um, I, know, I know, but... Oh, know. Let's just go back to my picture, one second. We went past it in the plane. Hmm. I'm going to zoom in, but you can't see quite what it is. Unfortunately, I've zoomed in already. Hang on, I'm going to zoom in on it. See, you cannot really see what it is zoomed in on my picture, but you almost going to see a bit sticking up there. 
but you know Mickey says oh, that could be an aeroplane but it didn't move so but there could be a bit sticking up there I don't know if I, I can't get it to zoom in anymore as far as it goes on here <laughs> so basically that little bit sticking up was that bit there which sticks up from that but you know I didn't see it's just an object a long object but it didn't move whatever it was look at that what is that under there it looks like a bone <laughs> but uh anyway what is it Mickey? we've got to say now it's a uh, it's an anomaly of our past of a technology that we once had that understood the earth's magnetical fields to where we could go as high as we wanted but even then we knew we couldn't leave this place we knew what it was we knew how to use it now we get these people that abuse it. <laughs> That's a poem, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Abuse and um, the other thing we've got to say, because we're going now. Uh, it's good night for me. And it's good night for me. <laughs> Hello, thanks good for helping night. me do that. It was a bit of a joy, wasn't it, Mickey? Whatever it is, is a weird thing. And, you know, I just cannot believe we've got better pictures of it by now. No, it's 2023. It's, it's the only ones on yet. Yeah, it's the same pictures. But anyway, yeah. thanks very Thank much, you. darling. Thank you.